Welcome back to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. Today the problem we'll be seeing is known as the minimum cost path problem in a graph. So the problem says that given a graph as an adjacency matrix, find the minimum cost that would be incurred to go from the top left corner of the graph to the bottom right corner of the graph. And uh, the constraint is that we are only allowed to move from a node to right or bottom or diagonally bottom right. So suppose uh, this is the adjacency matrix of the graph given. The aim is to go from this 1 to this 4 with minimum cost. The directions we have to move from the starting node is or from any node is that we can either move right or bottom or diagonally bottom right. So if this is the given adjacency matrix then the output should be 11. How? You see if we go in this path then 1 plus 4 5 plus 2 7 plus 4 11 this will be the minimum cost that would be incurred to go from 1 to 4 so now let's have a look at the approach that we'll be taking on to solve this problem so what we do we first create a matrix uh, named tem of the same dimension as of the given one that is a graph uh, the first thing that we do is that we assign temp 0 0 is it, with the value at a graph 0 0 then we run uh, loops that throughout the first row and the first column of the you know taken temp matrix starting from the one index stores the value at the same index in graph that is this added with the value at their previous index in temp so what we do uh, let's say that there is another matrix and we have assigned one at the zero zero index so we the first task is to fill this first row and the first column how to do it when we are filling a row we'll be starting with this point so we'll be taking this value from the graph matrix and we'll add it with the previous element so see this is the previous element in temp 1 and at graph this is 2 so in temp at 0 1 index it will be stored 3 likewise this will be 8 and this will be 12 and here it will be 4 then 6 then 10 then we will run two nested loops to insert elements in temp for any ith index of temp by taking the value of ith index in graph and adding it with the minimum of the possible three neighbors you see uh, we have already seen the constraint the right bottom and diagonally bottom right so possible three neighbors for any node let's say three possible three neighbors will be five two or four because the direction will be coming from this side or this side or this side so we'll have to uh, check these three neighbors and have to take the minimum one and then add it to this node. So 3 plus 2, 5 will be stored in the corresponding index of the temp matrix. Lastly, when we will be out of the loop, the value at the last index of the temp matrix will be printed as output. So let's jump onto the programming part and see how we can implement our logic. So I have taken this adjacency matrix and I have named it graph. So I'll do what is, I'll do that minimum cost path is min cost and I'll pass this graph and I'll pass the dimensions as 3 3 because the maximum index of any row or column here will be 3 so let me now define this function So the return type will be void here uh, this will be dimensions will be 4 4 and let me name this 2 as row and column so first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a matrix stem so let me create it I'll be uh, giving the same dimension as of the graph so instead of using direct 4 value we can do this row plus 1 and column plus 1 then what we will do we will assign the tem 0 0 with graph 0 0 now the task is to fill the first row and the first column so I will take a for loop for int i is equals to 0 i less than or less than is equals to row see because row is the maximum row index so less than is equals to i plus plus and this will not be 0 this will be 1 
so here I'll take this stem I zero is equal to the corresponding graph index so graph I zero plus tem i minus 1 0 so adding the previous elements so same thing needs to be done for the first column so let me just copy it so let me take this loop iterator as j so this will be j less than equals to column j plus plus here the changes will be this will be 0 j so that is the thing again 0 j this will be j minus 1 or rather 0 j minus 1 so this is done now we need to run two nested for loops so i'll be having it starting with one k is less than is equals to rho k plus plus then inside this for loop another for loop int l is equals to 1 l less than is equals to column l plus plus so here what we are going to do is temp of k l is equals to the corresponding value at graph kl plus will use a function minimum of three elements and that will be temp of k minus 1 l minus 1 the diagonally uh, related value then in the previous row so k minus 1 l and lastly k l minus 1 right so after we do this i'll be defining this minimum function here so after we uh, go out of the loop then what we can say okay uh, again mistake this will be of integer type so what we will return here is return tem row call. the maximum index is a row and call right so let me define this minimum so this will obviously return an integer type and it will have three variables as arguments let it be a b and c so here i'm going to first take a m then i'm going to check if a is less than b then we'll do some work otherwise we'll do some other works so if this is the case then we'll again check if a is also less than c then m is equals to a else m is equals to c and here we'll check if b is less than c then m is equals to b otherwise m is equals to c finally we will return this m so our minimum function is also defined and this is also done properly so uh, let's now check whether our code works or not see for this graph the expected output should be 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 that is 11 so let's run it so here we are with the output and it says minimum cost path is 11 so this was done properly uh, in which we actually could find the minimum cost to go from the left top corner of the graph to the right bottom corner of the graph thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time